Welcome back to another Sprinkler Tech Talk video. Today we are going to be reviewing and going over the Hunter PGP ADJ Sprinkler, over some of the most frequently asked questions about this sprinkler. Question number one is what nozzles does this sprinkler require? The PGP ADJ comes with a rack of standard red nozzles. These nozzles are round and not to be confused with the PGP Ultra nozzles or the I-20 nozzles. There is also an additional blue nozzle rack that I'll show you here. And the blue nozzle racks have a slightly more efficient distribution of water and can be used with the Hunter PGP. But the standard nozzle racks are the red nozzles. Question number three. Can I purchase the seal for this sprinkler? Yes, you can purchase the riser seal separately for the PGP. The riser seal is a little black seal that sits underneath this top part of the canister that, uh, actually, I'll just take it apart here for you. So you can take off this top ring by wiggling it back and forth. Be careful that the spring doesn't break loose on you. The, this black part here that is, um, a little bit uh, rubbery. This is the the riser seal. So when you purchase a riser seal, this is the part that you get. This uh, this ring that sits underneath uh, can be reused. So you'll take this plastic piece out of your existing sprinkler and um, put it back on when you change out to the to the new rubber seal. So you can pull the top off, put the new seal onto the sprinkler, put the top of the canister back on. And that is all there is to replacing the riser seal. Sometimes riser seals wear out if there's a lot of dirt and grit, if your sprinklers are installed in a sandy soil, things like that, they tend to wear out. So you can easily replace the riser seals. Next question, what is the size of the hex wrench used to adjust the sprinkler? This is a great question because these keys are very easy to lose. So you'll notice that this key has two parts to it. It has the hex wrench side, and then it has this little, uh, almost like a wing nut side to it. And the hex wrench side is used to remove the nozzles. Right here is a set screw. And what we'll do, we'll just torque this down so you can get a closer, closer view of it. So this part right there, that hex, uh, that screw that sits in front of the nozzle is called the set screw. And this hex wrench is used to raise and lower the set screw. The hex wrench uses a 332nd size hex wrench. So if you don't have a key and you go to your hardware store or you have a hex wrench set in your garage, it uses a 332nd size hex wrench. Next question. How do the numbers on the nozzles correspond to the approximate distance? So for this, you're going to want to refer to Hunter's nozzle uh, guide, which you can find here. And in the nozzle guide, it will tell you exactly the distance and the flow rate in gallons per minute that each nozzle uh, can produce at a certain pressure. So it's important to know your pressure as it relates to how far your sprinklers are going to throw and uh, how many gallons per minute. So uh, at its most basic level, um, you've got the number one nozzle, and that's gonna put out the least amount of water at the shortest distance and require the least amount of pressure. And the number 12 nozzle, which is the largest size nozzle that will throw the greatest distance using the highest gallons per minute and require the most amount of pressure. Next question. Does the PGP come with a check valve? So the Hunter PGP is a base model sprinkler. It doesn't come with a lot of extra bonus features like a check valve or pressure regulation or a flow shutoff on the sprinkler. It's just your base three quarter inch workhorse sprinkler. So in the bottom of the PGP, you will find the filter basket. All sprinklers have a filter basket. And you can purchase a check valve that will sit on the bottom of the filter basket and can be added to the sprinkler. It's really just a rubber disc, like you can see here, 
and it sits on the bottom of the spring clip to prevent that low head drainage. So the check valve can be added and purchased separately and installed directly onto the sprinkler. Next question. What is the adjustable arc setting of the PGP sprinkler? The PGP sprinkler is a fully adjustable sprinkler from 40 degrees to 360 degrees. Uh, you will need one of these handy adjustment keys to make the adjustment. And the way that the adjustment works for the PGP is it has a fixed right hand stop. So you palm the sprinkler until you find the right hand stop and you line the right hand stop up with, let's say the edge of your sidewalk. And then you use the adjustment key to open and close the radius to the left. So in this case, I have a 180 degree arc radius and it can be adjusted from 40 degrees to 360 degrees. So those are just a couple of the most frequently asked questions that we see for the Hunter PGP. And until next time, happy sprinkling.